Hey guys, so today I'm here with the first look of the Blackberry Playbook. Uh, so they just finished announcing this, and I've got to say, it is a really, really impressive looking tablet. Looks like a pretty big step up from the iPad and pretty much any t other tablet that is available today. So some of the specs include, it does have a 7-inch display with a resolution of 1024 by 600. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, I think about the 7-inch screen, that's about the sweet spot for a tablet. So that definitely is uh, pretty good news there. Uh, in addition, it also does have a custom BlackBerry Tablet OS. So, like I said, totally custom for this product. Uh, and it actually does look quite nice. It somewhat resembles WebOS and with the fact that it is very, very heavy on the multitasking side of things. Um, you actually are able to swipe through all your open windows, and it's a really nice looking interface. Uh, now, continuing on to some more of the specs, it does have a 1 GHz dual core processor. So again, big step up from what you might find in the iPad or perhaps the Galaxy Tab. Uh, it also does have a whopping 1 GB of RAM, and it does have two high-definition cameras. A 3 megapixel front-facing camera that shoots 720p video, and a rear-facing 5 megapixel camera that shoots a whopping 1080p video. Uh, now, some of those specs, those are really impressive. I mean, if you take a look at the, the rear-facing camera, for example, on most cameras and um, rather on most phones and tablets these days, um, you know you're barely struggling to get up to 720p. So to see them take the jump to 1080p, that's that's pretty impressive. Indeed, the entire thing is really nice looking. Um, with it also does have full support for HTML5 as well as Flash, and also will have a syncing sort of thing. So you can actually go ahead and move stuff from from your BlackBerry phone to your BlackBerry tablet, which makes sense. Uh, so guys, no word on price or release date just yet, although I doubt that you know the release date won't be that far as the product looks pretty much complete. Um, but overall, it looks really quite solid. Uh, now, it will be available initially only as a Wi-Fi model. However, in the future, they do plan on having both a 3G as well as a 4G variant. So definitely good news there. Anyway, guys, I'm definitely curious to know, what do you guys think of this? Personally, I'm impressed with it. Now, if, if it turns out to be just as good as they say, um, the software is probably the, the only real question mark on my mind, but from what I've seen, it does look really, you know, it looks really nice and easy to use, but of course, we'll have to wait and see, get some hands on of it anyway. Uh, so definitely leave your comments, uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below, because I'm very curious to know if you guys are interested in this, or, you know, you guys stick with your iPad, maybe your Galaxy Tab, whatever. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.